So this is for all you guys out there who have experienced long, tedious, unstructured backlog refinement sessions. Or if you don't have any backlog refinement sessions, this might be something you would like to pick up. So the Lean Coffee Backlog Refinement Session is basically also a question of preparation. So it's about the product owner creating a list of conversation topics that they want to bring into the backlog refinement session. Sends an email the day before with the list of conversation topics ordered in importance. So uh, whatever state your backlog item is in, they could be a conversation topic to bring into the backlog refinement. But the most important thing here is that they have a topic that is sorted in order of importance. And by sending that out the day before in order of importance, the team can actually prepare and do some research. They can check their code base. They can check Jira items. They can go online and see what other mistakes other teams have made. Uh, and they can also prepare in order of importance, which is also very important. Then uh, the day afterwards, the team meet up in their usual backlog refinement session. In this example, we have a team that has a backlog refinement session of one hour. And so the lean coffee principle here is that we divide the hour into four time boxes and we use this list to basically pull. So the first time box is 15 minutes. We pull the first item into the time box and we refine it from whatever state the backlog item is in. We refine it. It might be a story that has a title and has a description. But we haven't yet dived into estimations or sizing or even discussed acceptance criteria, and now is the time to do that. So we might get into splitting or discussing test strategies when discussing and exploring acceptance criteria. After 15 minutes, if we are done to a state where it feels like we've achieved what we wanted to achieve, then we can stop there. But if the team is in a good flow and the product owner really wants to have this in the upcoming iteration or sprint, then you basically ask the question, do we want to invest the next 15 minute time box on this item? Or do we feel that we have enough for now uh, and then pull the next item? So the team decides with direction from the PO because this is about value. Then you go into the second time box. If you're pulling the next item, you start from wherever that item is. It might be just a one liner from a requirement source, a person in need, uh, let's say from customer service or back office. And we just have a one-liner and we start exploring and discovering and might create a title, start doing the description. And we might stop there because there are four research questions that touches on three other teams and whether our test infrastructure can cover it. So we want to stop there. And then we go into the next time box, we pull the third item and start exploring. And that is a one-liner. When we discover and discuss during those 15 minutes, we actually get into splitting. We get into story splitting and we have a, such a good conversation and the PO is interested in some partial delivery of this in, in a very soonish iteration. So the decision here is not to pull in the item number four, but the decision is to actually continue and invest the next time box to get some sort of uh, reasonable state where we can uh, close it off and go and investigate or actually start writing stories or the primary story that we want to pull in the next iteration. Uh, by using the Lean Coffee Backlog Refinements, the team I work with, uh, they have felt that they are they know that they spend conversation value on the highest value backlog items always. And it's quite an energizing format as well. You always know where you are. You always know that you're spending the highest value from the product owner perspective uh, and investing precious conversation time on the right thing. Hope that gives you some idea of how to try and lean out Lean Coffee Backlog Refinements. Bye.